Hello, Monsters Bound here, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part 31? 30? Is it 20? 30, 31 of my Yellow Turban campaign. Hooray! Uh, last time I forgot to save. Whoops. So I had to start off from the end set. Although it does mean that Gongdu won't run into that stupid potential uh, threat ambush thing that he, he had. So that's good. That's good. Uh, we will continue the siege. Thank you very much. Continue the siege. We'll get uh, you in here as well. We won't charge after you. Because that was a mistake. And uh, Ma... What's, whatever his face is. Ma Chow. We must rest for now. No, don't go. Look, come out. No, don't rest. Get. Impossible. No, it's not impossible. Nothing's impossible if you want it, Harden. You, you don't have that. Um, all right, that's fine. We'll just we'll just advance. We'll probably be okay, and we'll go and take that. Just put the squeeze on. We will bring righteousness to this settlement. Indeed, we will. Indeed, we will. What's the garrison here? Pretty good. That's not bad. Little army there. Didn't have... Uh, we could get Hu Wenning. That would make a fairly rounded army, wouldn't it? Resist corruption and endure hardship. Let's get you. And you can have... Uh, you could have some... Beers. And let's get a trebuchet. I don't really know what I want you to do. You could get some messengers of heaven, but I've decided they're not very good. So let's maybe do something like uh, that. Now, do I want to do anything with these guys? So we could maybe get the White Wave Horsemen. I think we're currently researching some better horsemen. But uh, maybe let's get some cavalry in there just for funsies. We've got a lot of infantry, so I'm actually going to... I've got these raiders, so they're 250 charge. Are these guys better? So they got 2015 compared to... So these guys got slightly better armor piercing. So, let's... Maybe get some specialist units. Let's like get the venerable Wu. Let's get some yellow sky hair. Mm. You know what? Let's get two venerable Wu. Let's do that. Let's just just go a little bit mad. So Pei is energetic. Xiao Chao is tranquil. Good for him. What we got going on down here? Looks like Sao P is preparing to go and die in an ambush once again. I mean, you know, everyone's got to have their hobbies. I guess. And of course, you need to be coming to join the party down here. Does leave me a little bit open uh, around this area. We could actually let's upgrade that. We might have done that before and I just didn't remember. But there we go. Okay. That's, I mean, so far, so good. You know, we've got the entire. Oh, 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 you're coming. You're coming in. Where's. Why, why is Gong Do not. Not in the fight as well. Is he too far away? What the fuck? Fall back. Hang on, that's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, Gongdu was pretty close. I was fairly sure he was in reinforcement range. Unless they were night attacking, maybe? It did look like it was night. Maybe they were night attacking. Maybe that's what they were doing. Okay, well, two can play that game. We've got moral laws. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, so we've got the righteous vanguards who are better, maybe? Not 100% sure. We don't need trade influence because we're not trading with anyone. Well, we are, but not really to a point where it's uh, super useful. More character experience. Eh. Income from industry. That would be quite nice. Unlock some more units. I mean, I'm always... Always happy to unlock units. What about these guys? These are virtuous noblemen. They're not actually that good. They're a bit meh. We could get the Guardians of the Land, Stalwart Shields. Are Stalwart Shields better than... 
the ones we have? I don't think they are. I mean, let's maybe go with, I don't know, maybe this. Fervent Defenders, Watchmen of the Peace. It's only going to take two turns. And Living in Harmony, Tian Shao and Pei, Living in Harmony. Oh, that's nice. Right. Fury. Let's try this again. To arms. This time with feeling. For the people. You will probably run away. No, you're gonna you're gonna fight. And you're gonna die. The people's voice cannot be silenced. A ballsy move. It is the people's will. To action. But a foolhardy one. Honor your ideals. And I could chase you, but I'm just gonna go and stand next to Embarking. Stand next to Zhang Kai. Close. I'm gonna keep him close. Never let me go. And then drop him into the sea. Uh, so, shall we just continue? I mean, I, I feel like uh, Guan Hai. China is pretty good position just to rampage. Continue his rampage. Capture all of that. Obviously, we have Martung now to deal with. But Martung's capital is right there, and if we can uh, take that, then all the better. Oh, you've just decided to... You're just sitting there. No, we're not going to encamp. We're going to ambush and see if we can... If we can't get him an ambush, then... Ah, will be fine. Don't worry about it. be all good. Could get more food could get more research let's do that we have 95k i'm just going to i'm just going to rush them because i can oh we've got all this now going on oh yes so more food more income from peasantry that's nice that's now making f almost 5k holy shit we're making 11k a turn the only limiting factor is that i don't have enough yellow turbans I can just boost that right up. Also massively increases our reserves. So should we come under siege? Well, no one's going to be running out of food anytime soon. It's quite nice because it's a... Uh, well, more, more research rates. Not that I'm kind of looking at my research tree and going, I don't really know what I want anymore. So that's... What do we need for that? Oh, a small regional city. Right. And we need that one. Oh, in that case, research that one. And then we can get more food. I mean, we do have 78 food at the moment. So food? Not really a problem, is it? Really? Don't, you know. Be the sword. Pretty good for food. Let's be brutally honest. You just need to turn to uh, pick yourself up. And I still don't know how that instill heroism thingy works. Because, God, no. Oh, you can light attack. How do I di- right. Fall How back. the fuck do I deal with that then? Retreat. If you can just night attack from a city, like... Because you'll get the reinforcements and I never will. Okay, the ambush failed. But we can- we can win. I'll be honest, I've fought so many battles now. Um, but I'm kind of at the point where... There is no saving them. I just... Let them go I feel return. like if I fight every battle, I'll just end up in... in like, if, it's, if it looks like a really exciting battle, obviously we'll fight it. But otherwise, I will be here for the next 70 fucking episodes at this rate. Especially I'm going to have to fight my way through Wu as well. A cunning scheme. Plus 50 diplomatic relations. Right. Okay, well, I mean, that doesn't actually work on me. And also, you you hate my guts. Let us get this over with. Yeah, I mean, okay, you don't actually hate my guts that much, but could could be significantly worse. Strike them. Right. Now, right in the hearts. Heaven guided our axe to the hearts, and I'm to blame. I'll take a horse. Thank you very much. They merely do their master's bidding. 
I mean, it's not like I don't have enough friggin' armies. You know what I need is, is siege equipment, isn't it? That's what I need. Standard stance. I mean, we could... No, we can't attack, because unless we've got siege equipment... To attention. Unless we have some siege equipment, I can't actually... Serve integrity. Um... Right. Remain supple against the rich If I do force. that, you're going to come down here. Momentum. Remain drawn to strike quickly. Moving out towards peace. You come down here. Oh, we could we cross the fucking ri right? Okay, you right. We'll attack. We have a siege weapon. We will attack them and we will kill them. And they won't be able to hit us one at a time because they've got a stupid bloody night attack. Our faith was rewarded. In time, they will it would be assassin. Oh no. But we're fine, so that's okay. Serve okay, repair that one. What's this? Income from commerce, com income from industry. Well, we do have a tool depot and there is an iron mine there. So actually this could become a really nice... Um... Yeah... I mean, we don't need that, do we? So, I'm going to upgrade this. And then I'm going to build a forge. In fact, we're going to... Because this, this province here could make a huge amount of income. If we can take that iron mine as well. I say if we, I mean when we take that iron mine, because let's be honest, the only limiting factor here is is literally how many yellow turban generals we have. I currently have 13k income a turn, um, but the only only issue is that I, d I genuinely don't have enough enough peeps. So I can send you there, and I can send someone somewhere else. I can send you. So what the fuck does this mean? What the fuck does that mean? What does it do? How does it work? That's what I want to know. With faith. Okay, we'll bring you round to help out with... Not, I mean, we've got three armies here. The fact that this has stumped me. Oh, oh. Oh, because you're going to night attack. But... I mean, that's not going to be a particularly good idea, is it? I don't think that's a good idea for you. But if you want to do it, then I guess be my guest. Faster. So artillery is already opening fire on the advancing enemy army, which means they know where they are because, you know, we can't squat and fire at the same time. You've yet to learn this power. Now, the enemy general is Jean Gon, who has poisoned volley, which is... He must be a special character, because... Not many have that. So that's interesting, and... Out your heart. A bit rude. That was your best! Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 71 kills on the trebuchet so oh, far. Not bad. Discovered. Make that 98. So we're going to try and deal with the enemy sentinel. Meanwhile, we have our healer running around behind the enemy army because they got some juggernauts. And I love juggernauts because they set things on fire. And I do enjoy setting things on fire. However, I do not enjoy being set on fire myself. Yes, I'm a giver, not a taker. Meanwhile, we've got enemy cavalry flanking around. And we're prepping to deal with that when it becomes a problem. I shall revel in your destruction. Do you ever stop talking? And the enemy army is now advancing across the stream. Taking a lot of missile fire as they come. And I'm not paying attention and I'm about to get charged by some enemy cavalry. Oopsie, but that's okay because our cavalry is just better. Ish. A bit. On the enemy, I'm like, oops. Oops. Enemy cavalry. But it's fine. Messengers of Heaven are just better. 
They've just got better melee stats. And finally, the enemy sentinel wants to duel, and the juggernaut has been taken out before it managed to get too many kills. Enemy archers are being a little bit of a pain, and they are shooting our chosen of the eight immortals who decided to cross the river and charge all of the archers at the same time. Not a good idea. However, our healer is now trying to pick off the enemy strategists. And Zhang Kai. How you doing, Zhang Kai? You got this? I know you got this. You got this. I mean, this guy's a goon. He may have a, a neat little special ability, but it's not going to help him, is it? To be honest, I hope... If, they're obviously going to do another Three Kingdom game. I hope it's going to lean more towards the romance elements, personally. Because I feel like having, you know, big... Big characters is what the Three Kingdoms period was all about. Characters like, you know, Zhang Fei, Leo Bei, Sao Sao, all those kind of characters. That's what you want, isn't it? It's all about them, really. The enemy warriors are running. <laughs> and I don't think I ever actually played the historical version, even though I really like historical Total War games. I just think having the option to have the powerful characters was something that always just I, I just leaned towards. It just makes the game a little bit more characterful, in my opinion. Just makes it that little bit more interesting when you have these like powerful characters. That, I like the RPG elements. That's what I like. Like I like the strategy elements, but I also like the RPG elements. This is why I like Warhammer. I think. Okay, the Juggernaut crew racing back to, to man their Juggernauts, but a few arrows in them. One or two, or three. Sometimes a few... Uh, some of those guys look like they've had extreme acupuncture. Right in the face. And over here, the Oshia are slowly dealing with these White Tiger Warriors, who... You know, actually quite nasty. But the Oshia seem to be dealing with them okay-ish. Mind you, they're doing a lot of damage. We need some help. Also, why is my artillery crew fighting in melee? Are they just, is the bloodlust up with 139 kills? Are they just losing their shit? Who can blame them? The last few units are now being hunted down by our cavalry. And the enemy generals should be about to fall. Can we can we keep this up? Come on, keep going. That's it. Get him. Get him. Get him. Go on. Poke her with your stick. You got a big stick. Hit him. Ah, she's running away. Our faith was rewarded. Right, that's seen you lot off. Now, you're not the one that can do the night fighting, but I'm going to it execute you anyway. Will. And I'm going to execute you too. Grant them dignity and de to work. Okay, that's it. You head back to the city. Hello? Oh. Hello there? Dead, we should not dead. waste resources for China. Well, you might. You might come and try it. Uh, let's try retreating. Retreat. Oh, you just you just really want to come... Oh, no, you're attacking the settlement, but you're also attacking me at the same time. I mean, it says close victory for me, so I can literally do this. And... Then you run away. So, I mean, I'm not. Strategy really was daddy's thing, wasn't it? Eh?
Oh well. We've got improve undesirable neighbourhoods. So again, brave versus cowardly. Uh, I don't know who either of you are, so brave, I guess. Sure. For the people. Right. Now we get in here. To arms. And we continue the siege. For the people. Yep, for the people. At least the people outside the city. The ones, the ones inside, probably going to be on fire. Probably quite a lot of fire. Justice cannot be denied. Finally, Christ. We should not waste resources on imprisoning them. That pulling bloody teeth, isn't it? For the people. Embarking. Remain firm. All right, and then we can head towards the Moo Cows, and we could chase you, but I'm just going to leave you there for the for the replenishment, I think. Meanwhile, we can move up to Yanman. Take that. Obviously, we've got a little settlement over here as well. Um, probably what I want to do. I mean, I. I mean, we're kicking the shit out of you and Shao, aren't we? I mean, honestly. Gather your strength. What's the quickest way over here? So we could do that. I mean, there's no one. There's no one really to stop. Yeah, okay, let's let's do that. And we can bring you down there. You have a skill up. More range. You don't actually have any ranged in your. The yellow turban skills are interesting, but often really fucking weird. Almost like no one really kind of like they've got they've got because because these guys, the yellow green guys, why would you have this? Because I guess you can recruit the hunters, but that's about it. So it's not really. I find the Three Kingdom skills, in general, a bit on the weird side. Like, a lot of them, you kind of go... I, I sort of see what they were trying to do, but it doesn't doesn't really work very well. Which is, which is a shame, but... Okay, if we come down here... Do a little... Is that going to be... Oh, can we get a little bit closer? Is that as close as we can get? Maybe that is as close as we can get. Okay, we'll stay there. That's fine. And you're just chilling there just in case anyone in the south... Are I mean, look, we, we've expanded our territory so much. I'm fairly sure we're probably the strongest faction in the game at the moment. In fact, uh, yes, because everyone else is weaker than me. Is there anyone that would... No, everyone's like, no, I won't submit... No, never. Well, Dongmin's like, maybe I will submit. And he's on... He's... He, right, he's at minus 42.2. Despite the fact that he's only got one friggin'... He's got a... Oh, fuck's sake, he's, he's got a pass. He's only got one settlement and it's a fucking pass. And he still won't... The Yellow Turban Rebellion will... Welcome. Your okay, I guess I sad. guess we'll be friends with the Yellow Turban Rebellion. I mean, we are the Yellow Turban Rebellion, but uh, there we go. We could potentially get you quite you like me, agreements. mostly because you hate other people. I don't know where you are, but very well. You will also, and I know you're down in the corner. The Kingdom of Liang potentially would sign a peace treaty. The problem is, because no one will submit to me, I'm basically going to have to kill everyone in the world. Well, in China anyway. Which means I'm basically just going to have to claw my way through everyone. To get a win. Um, which. Uh, I don't know. We're part of an empire. I don't actually know what that means. Like I've got. I've got this. This yellow turbans. Who are this one. 
one settlement faction and I'm an empire with them. And I don't know why I did it. I'm probably because it's about the only thing I could do. And I don't know what benefit that has. It's, it's probably an overall a negative to me, but I don't know what it means. Supplies destroyed, yes. Supplies destroyed, yes. Supplies destroyed, yes. Act of worship. So more morale, more public order, good harvest. Uh, sure, we'll sing songs. Have a lovely sing song. Perfect. A lovely little sing song. Alright, let's go and take all this shit. Break their spirit. Righteousness won today. I mean, righteousness is all very well and good. Serve the people to arms for China. It's just blitzkrieg him. Our faith was rewarded. Be still to sense the smallest drops of knowledge. And remain firm. With can we reach that in one turn? I don't think we can. I think it's slightly too far away. Oh no, we can! That's nice. Just because then we get, you know, the hat trick. Three settlements in one turn. Yuan Shao is just... His, his resistance has collapsed. What does being in an empire do? Like... Are they a subordinate? Yellow Turban Rebellion. Look, you've got... Oh, you're also down here. Oh, hello, guys. Uh, how are you doing? Will you... Hang on. Where's, where's the Yellow Turban Rebellion? Uh, there you are. Oh, you really like me. Uh, oh, so we just get income from them. Oh, okay. A pleasure. We can expel them or dissolve them. Oh, I don't want to do either. Can we, like... Can we? Right. So, like you guys. This will be short. Okay, but before you propose this, you must be a member of a coalition, alliance, or empire. Can we ask to? Can we ask them to join? Request to join coalition. Oh, so they're in a coalition. Oh, I see. Coalition of Oppose Evil. I mean, I oppose evil. As long as you don't think I'm the evil. But I'm a good guy. Trust me. I'm a, I've executed so many people, I have to be a good guy. Alright, we'll finish that off. Uh, that'll give us that. In, I mean, you and, you and Shao is just... His stuff's just gone, isn't it? I don't know how many settlements he has left, but... Oh god, King Shimoka's all, there, all the way over there. Oh my god, the Nan Man might actually be kicking ass. I mean, we can see some stuff down here. So we need to get... I mean, we could... Because we can resupply in friendly territory. So, what... We could send an expedition. We could send them all the way down here. Land in this territory. Replenish. And then maybe use that as a stepping stone to then head towards, rather than having to fight our way through all this shit. Destroy corruption. Maybe we should start fighting our Not way through it. this shit. Maybe we should start doing that. Only problem is, I don't trust Lu Chong. I don't trust Lu Chong. I don't cross, trust Gong Sun Zhao. I don't trust any of them. Because they all hate me because I've been executing their generals. But I've been executing their generals because I don't trust them. You know, it's it's the chicken and the egg. What do you do? What do you do? Futu can have more income from commerce. Faction-wise, we have 17k coming in. And yet, no yellow turbans. Absolutely no fucking yellow turbans. No one. That's absolutely no, no candidates. Nothing. No children, because apparently we don't marry. I mean, thank God they're not dying of old age, because otherwise I would literally have no one left. I would have nothing left. It'd be a nightmare. 
Holy shit. Right, I think I need to sort all this building stuff out in between in between episodes, because otherwise I'll be here for freaking ages. So you've ended your feud. Alright, good for you. You've liberated Zhang Yan. A peace treaty with Dong Min. Liu Chang invited Yang, Zhang Yan into coalition. Blah, blah, blah. We've got tolerate autonomy. Oh, finally, humility. Thank God for that. More yellow turbans. Is it when it finishes? Fuck those. Crush them. Genuinely don't know. I have no I idea when that actually fires. I think it's random. Maybe it just happens occasionally during the five turns. Maybe. Like, it's not a sure thing. It will just sometimes you'll get another Yo turban. In which case, I just need to keep sending. Don't run away. We were having such a lovely, Attack! lovely discussion. I wanted to ax you a question. Or spear you. He didn't have an axe. If he had an axe, that would have made sense. He had a spear. Spear you a question doesn't make any sense. Right. Execute, execute. Good. Good, good, good. Right, it's interesting to see Shimoka down there. Let us discuss terms. Indeed. I mean, I feel like we can be friends. How strong are you? And who are you at war? You're at war with everyone. But you're allied with King Meng Ho, which suggests that you might actually be doing okay. Interesting. That is interesting. You might be causing them some pain. I mean, actually having the yellow turbines on side is actually quite useful because it gives me a lot of vision over areas that I have no idea what's going on. Right, we're gonna we're gonna take this city. Finally, we're not gonna burn it down this time. I know. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. So we'll take it. You? We don't really need research. Condemn. Uh, yeah, sure. What, what you said. Now, you're running, so you won't be able to get away. So let's give you a quick kicking. Send you scuttling off. On the march. Oh shit, I'm on the other side of the fucking... Alright, I think I'm alright. I think I'm okay. China I'm just going to stand outside the city, because I think that's safer. We're going to repair that, we're going to get the forge, because that's going to give us extra replenishment. So we'll do that, just in case we need it. And we're going to start pushing south. We're going to start pushing south. I'm also going to move you guys down. I don't... Do I want to... Do I want to deal with Martung? That is the question. He probably has this entire corner. I'll need to... I'll need to have a... Uh, hmm, hmm, uh, maybe? I mean, no. I don't really want to have to deal with that. But I'm going to have to because I need, I need that capital, don't I? I need that capital. So, what we're going to do is you're going to come down here, Gong Du, you're going to come down here to join us. Uh, this, this corner is now fine, we're safe, we're secure. I would like to kill Lu Dai. Do we have to? I mean, I, well, yes. Lu yes. Dai is oh. the vassal of Gong Sun Zan. Yes. So maybe we'll want to... I mean, Gong Sun Zan does need to die. Let's be brutally honest here. So, do I maybe just assume that anyone I... Any any faction I leave behind me... I mean, Gong Sun Zan's declared war on me before. Lu Chong's declared... They're going to declare war on me, aren't they? So maybe I should just kill them. Use the mountains to hold them back. Because they can't... 
mean, if we leave like one army here, we can probably hold them because we got we got gates here. If we can take the gate, if we can take key pass and Hangu pass, then effectively we can hold them, and then we can deal with this lot. Then we can go and grab the capital. And at the same time, maybe I can send my little expedition down here. It's a ballsy move, because if we get bogged down, we've got very little to help us. But it might be my only option, because if I have to fight through the, if I have to fight through the jungle and mountains of South China, it's going to take me fucking years to get down there, and it's going to be a nightmare. Is there anything that's going to, like, help us with that? Extra replenishment would be quite nice. Uh, what don't we have? That would open up a local leader position. Okay, let's grab that. It's only going to take three turns. Not that we actually have enough yellow turbans to put them in that position anyway, because we've got so many core positions and not enough yellow turbans, so... More melee evasion. Never a bad thing. Go with that one. And we'll upgrade this. Now, Taiyuan can become a real powerhouse. I'm going to convert that and then we're going to upgrade it. And we're going to do that. So we're currently making... We've got 32% corruption here, and we're still making 3,500. Which is pretty amazing. Plus, the population is still has another half a million to go, which will give us even more bonuses to income. Uh, we do... Oh, I can't build that here, but it still gets 12 public order. Is that enough public order? Probably. I mean, faction support's increasing anyway, so... Right, I need to worry about what my building's doing. But then I do have 45k and 18k a turn coming. So I mean, so I mean, you know, generally it's fine. I don't think we're, we're any real, any real issues. I can send you to do that. And the other now, is there any any provinces where we're, we're in problem, in problem territory, public order wise? It looks like everyone's pretty happy. I mean, that's going down, but that's because we've just captured it. So overall, actually, everyone's over the fucking moon. In which case, everyone, look for look for any, anyone. If you can find anyone that can hold a sword, they become a general. I mean, we're very much scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Do not give a shit. Just, just get... <laughs> I don't care. Just get them in here. I don't care who they are. This is, this is Jeremy. He's got terrible personal hygiene. He's arrogant. He will steal your money if you're not looking. I'm like, fine, he's in. <laughs> He could become the commander of our armies. I do not care. Okay, peace treaty signed between those guys. You signed the peace treaty. That's fine. It'd be nice if we could sign a, like an agreement with the Nan Man, but I think the Nan Man are pretty much just their own thing. So, where are you going? Just a bunch of peasant warriors and archers. Just, just doing your own thing. Fair play. Fair play to you. Impossible to achieve. It's not impossible to achieve. Get, Towards get over this. it. No. Right, get down there. Get me a goddamn toolmaker. I want me some hammers. Justice cannot be denied. If we put googly eyes on the hammers, we might use them as generals. It depends how rough it gets. Who are you? Zhang Bao. Son of the brawling tiger. Well, bully for you. Moving out! Okay, I think we've got Sao P on the back foot here. I think... I think Wu is dealing with the Nan Man. I think all of their armies are dealing with that, which means we might be able to, like, knock out Sao P 
if if we get a chance. Steel for battle. Meanwhile, I'm going to. I mean, we can. I think we need to deal with Ludai. I think Ludai needs to die, along with Gong Sun Zan. So, Marching. we need armies to have a fuck sake. Momentum. March out. What, mate? Marching. What do you, you? You tried this several. This is very sour pee of you, isn't it? This. I've got this. I've got this genius plan. Oh, it happens to be exactly the same plan as last time. I'm amazed you've managed to to rock up. I mean, it's probably because he's got this little tray port here. We're going to have to deal with him. We're going to have to deal with Zhang Yan. I'll, I'll, I don't know how many settlements Why must we speak? you've got left. You still don't want... Pay. I think you may only have that one settlement. So if we wipe you out, then at least that's one less threat. It is foolish not to rest. So can we go through the mountains? I mean, probably, but it'll take for fucking ever. So, need Destroy so you can come there. We have multiple stacks there. We've got, we're sort of like mucking with Sao P a little bit. Talk of the devil. I'm crawling out of the woodwork. Sign a peace treaty with the kingdom of Wu. Okay, you declared war on I wonder if we can sign a peace treaty with. If we must. Not you. You. Curb your dishonest tongue, and we may talk. We may be able to. If we can, like, knock out that army. Reject corruption. Alternatively, if we can lure them into an ambush. If I go here and then leave you here, it cannot be done. Patience you might try. You might try and take take on that army. In which case, that's fine. Now, Machao, he's he's in an ambush stance somewhere over here. If I go there, ambush him, then the spring. bloody idiot will probably wander straight into it, which is fine. Forward. Outwards and on. Oh, hello. Hello there. All right. Well, China is people. Let's lay a little ambush, and we'll see how that goes. But I'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.